All right, before we kick this video off, I'm just gonna go over what's in my camera bag here to show you all the things that I need to create this video. I really don't even know what I'm gonna do with this video. We got a big day of Bell and Hay. I'm about to go get on the rake and dad's gonna be on the round baler and we gotta get this done before rain tomorrow. So it's gonna be an action packed day. I still don't even know like how I'm gonna go about this video, but that's usually the way I like it. Just kind of going off the top of my head. So let's see what's in the bag. All right, here we go. Starting off, always gotta have some water. I got this other camera here in case like I wanna get out of the tractor and take some other pictures. It's not really good for holding in my hand. It's real shaky, but it takes good pictures. So taking that along, of course, gotta have snacks. That's a no brainer. Got some headphones in case I wanna listen to some tunes, you know, uh, yeah. We got the drone remote here. We got some extra GoPro batteries. Got the GoPro magnet mount here. I left the GoPro in the tractor, so don't have that with me. Another GoPro accessory. Ah, uh, yes, right here, the Mavic Air. Got the GoPro remote, and I think that's about it. So we should be set for today. So let's go. Well, we just started. It's pretty green still. Every time, man, I swear, I go to do the drone and dad rolls up. Every time. All right, baby, it's drone time. Let's do it. All right, we finally got the drone in the air. And I cut this field a lot different than I have in the past. And the reason being is that if you go round and round on this field, you end up having close to like 10 corners when you get to the very end. And a lot of swooping turns and curves. And this rig is just really not good on those turns. It really shines when you're going in a straight line. And, you know, it's not a good rake to make a lot of turns with. It just ends up leaving a lot of hay on the ground. So I'll probably do this field the exact same way next time. Oh yeah, and I gotta mention that we got a new drone on the way, so I'm super excited about that. Hopefully bring a, a lot more footage and, you know, stay up in the air longer so I can capture a lot more stuff. But yeah, I'll just let you check out some of the footage right here and let the clips roll. So as I was making my way down to this end of the field, I decided to make a stop and check and see how close I was to these power lines. And it really is a good thing that I did, or it might not have been a good day for the drone if I would have kept going back and I'd have been all up in them. So that was a close call, but pretty much right here, I had to stop because I didn't know how far along dad was and we didn't want to, you know, rake up a lot of this in the wind rows and have it get rained on. And see this shot right here will give you a good idea of the way the field is shaped and what I was saying about if you kept going round and round how many corners you would end up with when you got to the middle. So right now it's time to take the drone back down and it's pretty much just a waiting game to see when dad finishes up with the other hay field. And then when he gets over here we can make a few test runs and see if the moisture's right. 
But so in hindsight, I could have raked more, but you know, we ended up getting it wrapped up the next day because it didn't even rain much that night. So not a bad deal. Didn't have any big breakdowns and made quite a bit of hay for the first go around. Well, that was real eventful. Dad came over and he was on the other patch and he said that the hay was a little, still a little wet over there. So he's gonna wait. And uh, don't wanna get too ahead of ourselves putting this all in a windrow because there's a chance of rain tonight. And uh, that's not good having big windrows and getting wet. It's better for it to rain on it the way it is. So it's a waiting game right now. He's gonna go over there in a little bit and check it out and that'll see if I can get back on this thing but got a few cool shots but anyways until then we're just gonna have to wait at least I can show you my drive back to the house and the barn because I got the GoPro now be a little more stable We were finally able to get into the field and do some bailing later that day because the moisture was right and even though it was still pretty green it was a lot more dry than it than it looked and uh, there was a bunch of hawks man they were in this field like crazy it was pretty cool made for some entertainment and when I was stacking the hay I got a whole I took a whole bunch of video of me trying to I was just kind of messing with them seeing if they'd chase a mouse or a fake snake but I probably won't show a lot of that here. I might save it for another video or I might not. I don't know. But anyways, we got it all bailed the next day and the weather cooperated. So it's all good. Well, that's it for today. Probably could have raked more, but uh, we just didn't know what the moisture was going to run. It was running a little wet. But on the higher end but hopefully it'll work it's better than uh you know letting it get rained on i get to start my journey back home good old walk it's gonna be funny walking through the cows though they always run around and the babies kind of follow funny because they don't expect me coming from this way so it kind of kept come on buddy you know you want to take a bite 